It is Sunday the 19th of December 2021. I'm on my way out to Putney today to visit the grave of Sandy Denny. I haven't been back since April this year. No excuses whatsoever. It just, you know, it's a long trip from where I live in London to, you know, south west of London. So, to give Sandy an early birthday present, it's a, it's a birthday next month on the 6th of January, I'm going to leave this photo frame with a with a, a recent album cover of one of her, like, a greatest complication, like, the lady, the essential uh, Sandy Jenny, which my good buddy Nigel gave to me earlier this year. And so I told myself that one day I'm going to put the album cover in a frame and leave it on her grave. As it'd be like, you know, a great memorial. I mean, some people pay a lot, a lot less good money to get the dead person's face on the tombstone, but the other people, like, they don't. So, if you can't really afford that, I mean, this, this a varnished, you know, photo frame could last a while. Uh, anyway, I decided that I'm not going to travel at Christmas because everything's closing up and France just closed but days ago when Germany's closing tomorrow. Um, and also it's mainly because these doctors I see in London, they can only give me a month's supply of medication. Normally previous doctors would give me two months supply. It would be quite good because with two months supply I could go away from the UK this for 60 days and then come green. back and get another one. But uh, in the, the, the only time I ever had to ask for a, a decent amount of medication was when, you know, I left for Sweden, I asked for three months, and by the time I came back from Sweden in August 2018, I had already had a decent amount of medication like left over. I mean, it's not really good to stop on medication in case it expires. Just arrived at Putney Bridge. All I gotta do now is get across the River Thames from Putney Bridge and then I'll be in Putney myself. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how much this train to cost. Hmm. Uh, that was 290. Not too bad though. I, guess. I was expecting more, like three quid. Yeah. Like, to be honest with you, I haven't been in this area since April this year. I mean, like, the only reason I would go to Putney is to visit Sandy in his grave, that's all. I was tempted to move out to Putney um, earlier this year, like Roehampton, that's close to the cemetery. But the traveling time to get to my job in the East London would be like 90 minutes. Cost way too much money. Not really worth it. I mean, yeah, there are always nice areas of London, but you don't want to be far away from where you work. Because, you know, for many years I used to live in northwest London, and it would take me two hours to get home on the buses because some days I just didn't want to take the tube. Uh, look at this. Crazy Frog Tricky. It's not 2005, alright? Yeah, right now, I'm in Roehampton. I took a different bus to get out of here than the 85. The 85 wasn't coming. I mean, it's kind of funny when Google Maps says, okay, a bus is going to come to this stop in London at this time, and it never does. And you could tell that by looking at all the electronic signs that tell you when the buses are going to come. So, so, it seems like the 85 wasn't running today. Maybe it's not running at all. So I've got a bit of a walk into Putney Vale Cemetery today. Not too bad. I, I could do with extra walking these days after, you know, being a bit lazy in the last couple of months. But also, there is a possibility that there, that there is going to be another lockdown. And, you know, I don't mean to sound evil and bad, but I am kind of hoping for it because it does teach people 
to not be stupid like these days because you're like okay if you don't want a lockdown right learn to stay at home when you're sick simple i've arrived at putney cemetery this is the main gates whatever you do when you come to visit sandy denny don't go through these gates because it will be a bit of a walk to, to a grave you need to take the next set of gates near the petrol station because you know it will only be a short walk uh, to her plot. I'm back now in Putney Vale Cemetery. This is my 11th visit to the cemetery since June 2017. If you can remember previous vlogs, I came here, uh, I think it was like a week before I started my job in London. I came here as a, I w wagged work in the Hilton Hotel and the ghost of Sandy Denny comforted me and gave me inspiration not to go back to my this stupid, horrible birthplace of Australia and stay in London. And that's where I am now, 4.5 years later. And that's why I've not been back home in five years. And I swear to God, you know, Mark, Satan, or whatever type of God you worship, that I won't go back to Australia until I'm at least 41 in 2026. Yes. So it's less of a walk if you use this second entrance rather than the first entrance. And uh, if you are new to coming to Putney Vale Cemetery, you can always ask a receptionist over there for a map. They'll give you a map for free that will tell you where are the most famous residents that are buried here, including Sandy Denny, including uh, Howard Carter, including one of the like um two fat ladies uh, she's buried um around there somewhere yes i'm now closing in on the denny family plot nearby hmm i've never noticed that man's grave over there like looking in the distance it looks like a war grave but it's not i mean this cemetery does say there are commonwealth war graves scattered uh, around the cemetery. Uh, oh, wow. And here it is. It's nice to see the unicorn is still here, but it's not in the plastic bag. And so Andy Denny fans have left Christmas trees and another unicorn and an extra unicorn three unicorns would you believe it so I didn't come with flowers today as tradition but I came with a photograph of Sandy which I'm gonna place right here at the head of her grave there she is yeah well Sandy it's your birthday coming up in a couple of weeks time but i'm afraid that the uk might be in lockdown in the coming days so to avoid any problems i've come to visit you to wish you a happy christmas and happy new year up in heaven wishing heaps georgina is going well no sorry, sorry why are you calling it george georgia yeah it's like georgia it says here georgia yeah georgina is keeping well in australia and so is her children and i'm so she sends their love every day as usual yes. and you're not forgotten sandy you're always remembered in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen as it was in the beginning as it should be lord without end amen While I'm here, I decided I'd fix up the flower plant arrangements and the grave of David and, uh, and Neil. Did you realize that it was David's 41st anniversary a couple of days ago on the 15th? And he was like, like less than two years older than Sandy. <laughs> 